Hey. Ah, oh, nice to see you off duty for a change. Managing to stay out of trouble. Well, it might not technically have been your fault, but you know. <laughs> mm hmm. I look good without the police uniform. Aren't people supposed to like uniforms? Is this why you broke up with me? Is it the uniform? No. Damn it. I've been mean, something easy to blame that wasn't anything to do with flaws in my personality. Because there obviously are none, right? You know, so we have to find a reason why you're clinically insane now. Nah, it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> How are you holding up? Yeah, well... It's not that surprising you're a little bit nervous going to sleep. It's, uh... It is a scary thing at the end of the day. It makes you feel a lot less secure in your home. So... Yeah. Anyway, I, uh... Well... I have an idea to fix that, but, I mean... <laughs> We can talk about it later. For now, what would you like to eat? Ew. What a terrible choice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had a feeling you might order that. Um, I might have slightly already ordered that for you. Well, it's the powers of mental prediction, plus I just remembered that you liked it and I was I was ready to take the gamble of being right and being praised for my wonderful memory and my you know caring nature I was willing to take that gamble in return for if I'm wrong then I get slammed for ordering you something you didn't want I thought it was a, a worthy effort to show my humongous brain hmm well, anyway, <laughs> I'm just trying to be the jester, you know. I imagine most people are all, oh, you're okay, and you're getting that, like, 20 times a day from all the people you know. So, uh, with a little bit of professional detachment, I'll try and be <laughs> the one person who isn't thinking you're about to have a mental breakdown, you know. Um, I don't know when the last time you got a call was. I don't even know if I'm really supposed to, or if I'm allowed to say this, but as far as I'm concerned, you're the person who got broken into. You should get to know the details of the case as much as anyone else, so. Um, we're pretty sure this is not just some to a penny, you know, guy we know the first name of. Um, basically, your case comes up in a pattern of a specific jewelry robberies. You remember your mum's jewelry, right? That ring, you remember the maker? Mm. So, basically, works from that jeweler have been very specifically targeted because it's gone up in value quite a lot recently, and I'm not quite sure exactly what the whole story is. I mean, no one is, but it seems like these people have a reason for believing that this jeweler is going to be very, very sought after soon. And so... We have seen a lot of robberies, and this is not just here, this is globally. Yeah, you know, different cities around the world, there's just this particular jeweler getting hit, which is why we think it's unlikely this is just a random one off robbery. Did they get that? No. Ah. Huh. 
well, on the one hand, you still have a potentially very valuable thing. On the other hand, it's kind of likely they come back. <laughs> which I know is not exactly what you want to hear now, which makes my plan all the more urgent. Um, look, I'm not saying they definitely will come back. They might not, especially now that you're a person of like intense police interest. They might not want to show themselves again here because it's risky. You know, it's a place that's already being watched, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they'll figure that we'll figure out who they are as well. Like, they're not stupid. So there's actually a decent chance that they don't come back. But, on the other hand, you do still have the thing they want. So... Yeah. But, um... I'd rather you didn't get caught up in some international web of whatever the hell this nonsense is. More to the point, I'd just rather you were somewhere more secure. Because... And, don't get me wrong, I mean, this is still... It's organized crime, but it's still an organized crime ring of thieves. These people so far have not shown in any way to be anything more dangerous than that. Um, but still, I kind of don't want you sitting in that house potentially vulnerable. Um, there's way too, there's just way too many ways into that house. And if they did decide, for example, to come back with multiple people. And to just brute force it, you know, smash through a window or whatever and just, like, demand it from you. I mean, <laughs> even if I stayed with you, it wouldn't help anything, you know? So, I know it's very early to be asking this kind of thing, and it's not, <laughs> I, loved for, I would love for it for, to be purely romantic. And it's not that there's no romance there for this or that it couldn't become a permanent arrangement, but certainly in the short term, I absolutely categorically want you to move in with me. I really want you to move in with me. Because I just, I mean, you, well, I've moved since we were last together. The building I'm in now is very secure very secure so <laughs> it is infinitely safer there and I would want you to move in like ASAP get all the important stuff out of that building continue moving all the stuff you know get it into storage whatever um, once you repair the window start showing people around sell that place off and we'll figure it out from there. And you're not going to be... <laughs> even if you decide you don't want to be with me, it doesn't mean you're not going to be welcome in my place until you get another place. But I really don't think it's smart to stay there right now. I really, really don't. And, you, you know, even if... Even if you're sitting there going, nah, I'm staying, like, I can't... Even if you don't want to do it, as a, you know, because you think it's a sign of giving in or something like this, and I know you and you may well be feeling that way. Fine, do as a favor to me then. Don't even think about it as your peace of mind or your safety. Think about it as my peace of mind. Because I find it really hard to think about anything else other than you being potentially a sitting duck. You know? It's terrifying. And the thought of these guys coming back, like, they're not going to come back with one person, that's the thing. And we haven't seen anything more than Berkeley from this syndicate so far. That doesn't mean they wouldn't be willing to go further. So, I just want you out of that situation as soon as humanly possible. I want you to be somewhere a lot safer. I want you to walk safer streets. And... I want to make sure that they don't, you know... 
that you don't have this problem again, ever, ideally. So... That's my idea. I want you to move in with me. I don't want to be damn soon, <laughs> frankly. I'll help you move stuff, I'll help you arrange the lorries to, you know, take any things that you can't put in my place right now or whatever. And I don't care what it costs. I'll pay the cost of moving stuff. I don't care. I just want to see you safe, that's it. And I'm not going to feel you're safe as long as you're there. So what do you think? I agree, the food is taking a long time, but um, I'm more meant, I think, you will know what you think about this idea. Like, again, I'm not trying to rush the relationship, and you want to sleep in the spare room, or... Huh? I'd be sleeping in the... Oh, hold on a minute. No, what do you mean? I... What do you mean I'd be sleeping in the spare room? It's my place. You're not kicking me out into the spare room in my place. Excuse me, I... I am... Oh, but you're just a vulnerable... Oh my god, really. Do you know the worst thing? I think if you told my parents this story, oh, he's invited me back, but I feel just so vulnerable and I want to, you know... They'd find a way to take your side and be like, yeah, you gotta let them, you gotta let them sleep in your bed and you just sleep in the spare room. It's only temporary, it'll be fine. What are you complaining about? Poor traumatized soul, they, they need everything that they can get. Yeah, brilliant. I'll just do that, shall I? Anyway, while the food is taking a while to get here, we can at least try and enjoy the drinks, maybe? Or, well, I'm going to. Hmm? You want to think about it? Sure. I'll uh, give you all the time you need. You done? What is it to think about? Seriously, you, you told me, and you being you, you told me you're not feeling particularly safe in that house at the moment. I'm telling you that instinct isn't wrong. You think of it as a hotel stay, think of it as staying with a friend, think of it as whatever you want, but I think of it as safe. That's my number one priority right now. I just want to see you safe. I want to feel like you're safe. I don't worry about you at work. I worry about you at home and... You'll do it. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Alright, huh? Under one condition. Okay, hit me. <laughs> no one's sleeping in the spare room. I feel like you're gonna go, and that's because you're sleeping on the couch. No. I think I can live with that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can, actually. <laughs> mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, our food's here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, let's eat, I guess. 